In this video, I'd like to show you how I take mill finish aluminum rod and turn it into a glossy polish for an ultra smooth surface. The materials I'll be using to polish the aluminum rod are a green scotch bright pad, a white fine scotch bright pad, and Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish on a lint free cloth. I'm going to take the mill finish rod and chuck it between a live center and an aluminum soft dead center that I've machined on the chuck. That way I know it's a true dead center. This simply helps me prevent marring on any soft materials like aluminum or brass and it happens to be my preferred method. I'll now take my green scotch Bright pad and for this size of aluminum, we're at 0.875, I'm going to set the mill to spin at 900 RPM. I'll take this clock step pad. Now normally on a lathe, I'd recommend against using any sort of glove. In this case, using a glove that's able to tear off instead of catch in the chuck is just fine with me. And in addition to that, I don't want to be getting the aluminum dust all over my fingers. It really gets to be a pain to get out and I just prefer not having to deal with it. So after polishing this once, we'll go over it and we'll try to notice whether or not there are any lines or striations coming from the die as this is extruded aluminum and gets pressed through a round die and over time they wear out and you'll get lines throughout it. Here in the reflection you may be able to see some of the lines such as this one right here. That's what we're looking to get down behind with the green scotch bright. We don't want to do any more than that because we'll change the dimension significantly and we want to let a lot of the polishing be done with the white fine cloth and the actual polishing cream. At this point, I'm not noticing many cirations left in the rod, so I'm going to proceed to get the white scotch bright pad and continue polishing from there. Now the white scotch bright pad is a lot finer and it isn't particularly made to remove much material. So we're going to use this relatively lightly and towards the end, as the aluminum builds up on the mesh, we're actually going to use it as somewhat of a burnishing tool. Uh, rubbing the similar materials together will cause a flattening and smoothing of the surface that begins the polishing. Once I see a satin smooth finish, I'll move on to the mothers because now it's time to get that mirror polish to show up. To apply the mothers to the cloth, I take another clean cloth and fold it over enough that I can cover a finger with it. I grab an amount of the mothers, folding the towel in half, and apply it to the towel. 
If you're working on a lathe, you don't want to apply it directly to the part as it will splatter off and just create a big mess. Once it's on the rag, I'm ready to go. After cleaning up the remainder of the mother's polish, we have a very, very smooth rod and it's got a mirror finish to it. I'll now release it from the chuck. And at this point, it'll be quite hot, so just be careful. But as you can see here, we have a uh, very brightly polished piece of aluminum that now could be used for a, a mold and some casting plastics or perhaps a decorative uh, ornamental piece in a project that you're working on, uh, or something that could slide in and out of a cylinder more smoothly. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, and have a great day.